In this video, I want to show you how to post resources and materials for your students. Sometimes you have something that you'd like students to be able to access and refer back to later. Maybe it's a website, maybe it's a um, rubric, or maybe it's the instructions for a project. It's not something they're going to turn in, but it's something you want them to have access to. And you'd like to organize it over here on the classwork page as opposed to a one-time announcement that might get lost in the shuffle. To do so, what you're going to do is head over here to this Create button. And you'll notice one of your options down here is material. So if you want to add something for students that they're not necessarily going to turn in, but you want them to be able to find, we recommend posting it as material. When you click material, you'll notice you get a very similar menu over here as you do when you create an assignment or when you create a question. Let's give it a title. Um, for today, let's pretend that we're posting up a link to a specific class website that we have. So over here, I can add a description if I want. That part's totally optional. And then I also have the ability to add those same things that I would if I was doing an assignment. I can add something that's already in my Google Drive. I can add a link out to some online resource. I can add a file that's saved on my desktop. I can also even add a link out to a YouTube video. Now, for this purpose, I'm going to provide a link out to our Instructional Technology Coach website. So link is the option that I want. But before I click this, I want to go make sure that I get the link that we're going to be using for this. So I have opened up a second tab over here, and I've navigated to this awesome page, our Instructional Technology Coach website. You'll notice up here at the top, this is the URL of the website. So I'm just going to head up here. I'm going to copy that entire URL. And I'm going to head back over here to Google Classroom now. I'm going to go to the Add option, and I'm going to pull down to this Link menu right here. When I click Link, it's going to give me this box that asks me to include a link. And all I'm going to do now, since I already copied that to my clipboard, is I'm going to paste in the link here. And you'll notice if I scroll over, it's the whole URL. Even though I can't see the whole thing at once, it's the whole thing. When I click Add Link, you'll notice it populates over here onto this material portion, and it also gives me a little thumbnail view of that website, which is awesome. I'm going to head over here to the right-hand side. Again, we get to pick which class we want this to be posted for. We get to pick which students we want to be able to see this. I also have the ability to set a topic here. So for this, I'm going to create a brand new topic. We're going to call this Class Resources. And so we're going to add our class website into the resources category. When I go up here and I click this post button, you'll notice it creates now a new category called class resources. And inside, instead of an assignment, I have this little material icon here. And here's the class website. When I go to this and click it, you'll notice I get this over here. It gives me the link right here to this. I can also click view material right over here if I want. And this kind of shows me what it would look like on the student's devices. They would see this, and then they would see the link over here to the website to get out to that page. So this is the perfect resource if you have a writing rubric that you want to upload, if you've got specific instructions you want to upload, if you've got links or videos that you want your students to have access to, but it's not something they would ever need to turn in or submit to you, posting it as class material is the way to go.